Okay, so you had, because you had these dreams so early, didn't you have a nickname? What they call you? Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Hollywood Newt, short for Nunez. Because when I, when I started in the first grade, I had a jean jacket and I took a magic mark, which I could still wear and when I graduated. Um, <laughs> I, had a, I, I was 75 pounds and when I graduated from high school. Yeah. How does so, that happen? That's but I was only four eleven. They they used to call that Poe. I was only four eleven though. Mm. I was a short, because, but I grew in one summer. Um, well, what was I telling you about? About when I called your nickname and oh oh, I saw so I got a jean jacket and I had uh, a magic marker and I wrote Hollywood on the back of it. Cause every, and every time people see me coming, oh shit, they go no no they go no 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 let's go let's go. You gonna talk about that damn Hollywood? Every that's all I ever talked about. And so. I graduated and I was working at a tobacco warehouse. Yeah. Right? And I got my check and I was like, whoa. And, and I'd already planned on what I was going to do in the summer, da, da, da. And I was like, and I know it was God. And I'm like, whoa, I got a check. I bet you this is enough to get to Hollywood. So I just, I said, if I don't go right now, I'm going to be stuck in Wilson. I looked around the warehouse like a, and I was like, if I don't, I, I can do it. I said, the only thing stopping, I said, Shh. Just don't stop. Don't stop. And I went to the man. I said, supervisor, I said, I quit. He said, we have a week in the hole check. I said, send it to my grandparents. I walk home, which is about here to the forum, but, you know, going through the woods, it's not far. So I get home and there was all those people in the house, it has never been a time when there was nobody there. Fate, God, nobody was there. I made three bologna sandwiches. I packed, made a, a, packed a suitcase, wrote a note to my grandparents, said, I'm going to Hollywood and make something out of myself. That's all, all I said. So and how I, much was the check? $127. Oh. <laughs> So wait, I didn't know. I so this is enough to get me to Hollywood. I went to the bus station. I walked down the train track, just like a movie. I walked down the train track and I was getting sad. I was looking back and I was thinking about all the things we did and all the bridge I had to cross that wasn't even there when they built it. And we used to slide little uh, things down the bridge. And, and I went to the bus station and I asked the white man, I said, can I get a ticket to Hollywood? He said, no. And I'm scared because I'm look like a kid. And he said, you can go to Los Angeles. I said, California? Yes. Okay, give me a ticket. What I didn't know, which I'm going to skip ahead, was I was at Trailways. Trailways goes to downtown LA, 6th and Main, the worst street in the United States at the time. Skid Row. Skid Row. Greyhound went to Hollywood. So when he said no, I thought you had to be an actor to get into Hollywood. That's how naive I was. But you did get a... you you. Where'd you got this first role? How'd you get that first role? The first role I ever got was I was on a bus. And there's some guy going, sitting next to this guy, he going like this. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I like this. And I just like I said, everybody else. I said, hey, and I talked like this when I first got here. These, my nickname when I first got on Skid Row was Country Boy. <laughs> so, because I talked this like this. And um, and I was like, hey, my name is Miguel Nunez. I'm from 640 Cemetery Street, Wilson, North Carolina. And I came in there being an actor. He said, oh, yeah, yeah, that, that. He told me he was going to a cattle call audition. I didn't know what the fuck that was. Right. It was a cattle call audition. And it was for Gino's restaurant commercial. And he was like, yeah. And I was like, so I want to be an actor. He said, okay, you're going to have to get us. What is that? He said, this is called a resume. I said, he said, here, you take that. You have to get a resume. You're going to have to get photo. Da, da, da. He was help, telling me all this shit, right? So when he got off, I look and I see him get off. And I see he got off in a park. I saw cameras. So I get to the next bus stop. I go find a copy place. I write his name off on the resume and put my name on it. I went back, <laughs> went back to the park. I got a line and I got the lead in that commercial. <laughs> I still remember the lines to this day. Hit it. Like birds of a feather, we stick together. And I got a little video, video tape of it too. Mm -hmm. uh, like birds of a feather, we stick together. So when we eat out, we all agree. We go to Gino's and it was a basketball team. Unanimously, and then I bust through the door. We go for Gino's sirloin, a one thick juicy quarter pound of beef, 100% beef with a taste that's unreal. <laughs> then you go, Gino's, we go for the food. <laughs> <laughs> and I got it, right? So then they, I was talking to the band. And he was like, I said, I don't know. I, know age, I ain't know nothing. And the guy walked up to who talking about, he said, hey, you. I said, yeah, I came back. He went. And then he told me, da, da, da. And he took me to his agent, which was David Wilder. Do you ever know him? Mm -mm. I was with him for years. Um, so anyway, he goes, um, so I took him there. And I was like, listen, my name is Miguel Nunez. I'm 640 Cemetery Street, Wilson, North Carolina. I came here to be an actor. And um, he said, like that. I said, listen, you can have all of that cattle money. I want to be on the TV. I didn't know nothing about career. country ass. I didn't know shit. And now it goes, so he goes, um, and then you can, you can have us, you can have all that money. I just want to be in the movies. I want to be on the TV in the movies. And he was like, you know what? I like you. I'm going to sign you, of course, so you can get that 10%. And I think the next 47 auditions, I probably got 42 of them. Mm, mm, mm. 
You a good auditioner. <laughs> I suck at auditioning. Uh, I'm the best in the I world. I hate it. <laughs> I'm the best. What's your process for like memorizing your lines? You know later? something that's weird? I would I used to go to auditions and an actor named Stoney Jackson. You remember Stoney? I remember Stoney. Stoney Jackson was the absolute best cold reader I've ever seen in my life. I watched him. I he, can go read. <laughs> it's the mem it's the, you know, I just don't I am never rememorizing. Listen, it wasn't until I started producing me, like when I went in for Pretty Rick stuff, I'll go in. My entire career, I'm never gonna say exactly what's on the page. Ever. And I'm gonna always flip it, I'm gonna always dip it. Because you gotta remember, you get an audition that's 50 people, right? And and this is the the, the the best it can be right here. Five of them gonna do that. So what is gonna make you stand out? Whoever does that little extra something. Yes. And I always gave them that little extra something. You can't go in there and just do this, they'll do it good. You end up what you did, Friday the 13th? Yep. I was still homeless when I did that. <laughs> yeah, how did you do this? Return of the Living Dead, and you still didn't have a regular place to stay yet. Well, by then I did. The, by then I did. So let me, let me tell you how I got out. So I started, this was the hardest part of being here. I ended up moving, so I was sleeping on a park bench, and some guy could, like I said, look like- Like Forrest Gump? Yeah, downtown LA. Because I was stuck downtown because I didn't know you could go anywhere, uh, Hollywood. So I spent my time skid row. And I was sleeping downtown. I was sleeping behind the bus station and got to it. Young man, what are you doing out here? My name is Miguel Nunez. I'm 640 Cemetery Street, Western North Carolina. I came here to be an actor. He would go, oh, God. And I would never understood why everybody was going, oh, God. And he was like, dude, you can't be in the street like this. You got go to the Union Mess, go to the mission. I'm like, what? Oh, yeah. what is a mission? I never heard about it. End up, that's why if you go to Union Rescue Mission, there's a picture of me in there, too. Um, and it was a, it ain't what it is now. The one yeah, I yeah. went to was a little nasty, dirty. Uh, uh, rats wouldn't even go in there. Rats went by there and said, nah. <laughs> that was the original one I went to. And you wake up and you, it was just pews because it was like a little church. You get uh, there before and you sleep in the pew if you get there at night just so you be inside. Yeah. And and you wake up in the morning and all these, oh, you know, and I remember just, and I, they said, I went in and the guy says, what? Why did, oh, I'm itchy. He says, you have lice on you. Uh, and then you have to go downstairs, you have to get sprayed with poison and then they feed you. And I, I went through all of that and then I ended up getting on welfare. I got a job, and then I found out you can go to Hollywood now because I used to sleep on the bus. I was going in the back in the wintertime. That last seat is where yeah, the engine yeah, yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. So the heat shoot up. Right. I right remember so bed. many times they'd be waking me up and they were parking the bus downtown in the lot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I did what I had to do. And even then, I absolutely, let me show you how naive I was. I was so naive, a gay dude turned me down. Excuse, <laughs> excuse me? Exactly. I'm going to explain that. This is how naive I was. I was walking around a little kid downtown LA as naive, naive as you could possibly be. Right. And I walk away and this guy comes to me, he goes, hey man, what are you doing out here? And I said, my name is Miguel Nunez, I'm 640 Cemetery Street, West North Carolina. <laughs> I came in, I want to be an actor. He said, why are you in the street? I said, I don't have nowhere to live, I sleep by the bus station. He said, you do? He said, you want to sleep with me, stay with me? <laughs> you had a right when you first tried to right. He said, you want to stay with me? I was like, I can stay with you? He was like, yes, <laughs> yeah, I got it, y'all, come on. He said, you, you got any clothes? And I'm so naive, I damn near said everything, but nobody even be looking for me. <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm here by myself and I don't have no clothes because my suitcase was stuck in, the, in that locker thing when you put your cord in, it can't last forever. It only lasts for a few times. So and he was like, well, come on, you, you don't have nothing. Come on, let's go. And we walking and I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm a whistle guy. I'm going to be a movie star. He goes, stop. <laughs> and I go, what? He goes, man, look, you can't go with me. I was like, what, what, what? And my grandma always said I talk too much. So I thought that was it. And I got all sad and I was like, I, I won't talk no more. I won't talk no more, I swear. And he was like, no, 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 that's not it. He said, I'm gay. I said, I'm happy too. Cause I had never heard that word. Never in my life I'd heard, I'd heard the word homosexual. The only thing I'd heard were punks growing up in the little town I was. So I didn't know what it was. And he was like, no, 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 no. I sleep with men. And I was like, and then first thing my grandma was talking about, I was like, oh, okay. All right, all right. And listen to this, this is God. He goes, look. He gave me $20. He said, listen, don't talk to people. Don't talk to people. And if you got to walk around, walk around in the daytime and sleep at night. He was, he was like, gave me advice, gave me money and sent me on my way. Yeah, because you were like Gomer <laughs> Pyle. I was worse. <laughs> Good if you ever want to see me little, like 4'11", like really little, like because I grew in, in one summer. If you want to see me that little and you want to see me homeless and poor, I was stealing food off of Jumping Jack Flash's little area, right? 
And then they were like, get out of here. And Joel Silver, who I love to this day. And man, Joel Silver came and said, oh, leave him alone, leave him alone. I said, my name is Gil Nunez. I came from North Carolina. I want to be an actor. Da, da. He said, oh, well, put him in the scene. So the next time you watch that movie, watch when Whoopi Goldberg gets dressed up to go meet Jumping Jack Flash and she's walking down the street with a dress. They go, go. And you're going to see the skinniest looking, crack hair, home, homeless looking kid ever. And I was like, hey, baby. She said, get your butt out of here. That was me. Because I said <laughs> that you did Jumping Jack yeah. Flash. Yep. 